Hello again and welcome to another lesson on fractions. Okay, this time we're looking at equivalent fractions. But before we get there, let's just uh, consider what we said in the previous video. In the previous video, we said that a fraction has a numerator and a denominator. Okay, the denominator tells me um, how many pieces something was divided into how many was it was divided into and how and the numerator tells me how many am I counting okay how many am I considering okay so and then we could we use the idea of a cake I just like the idea it's just simple and makes sense okay so I use the idea of a cake or a circle Okay, and let me divide this cake into four pieces. Okay. If I divide this cake into four pieces, okay, it means my denominator is four. So if I represent any number of pieces of this cake, it would be something out of four. So for example, I can say I've got two of the four pieces. So two here's one piece and let's say I have another piece but it doesn't matter which two let's rather choose that one I've got two out of the four pieces now you'll notice immediately that means that I took half of the cake I'm conf I've colored in half of this circle which means I didn't need to have divided it into four I could have only if, if I eliminate this this cut here I could have simply cut it into two pieces so I could have also cut it into two pieces and only taken one of the two pieces one of the two pieces and this fraction and this fraction represents the exact same portion half of the cake so what is equivalent fractions and these two are now equivalent fractions equivalent fractions are fractions representing representing the same portion equivalent fractions are fractions representing the same portion so we saw that that means 2 of 4 is the same of as 1 of 2 so let's go and divide this cake into more pieces. Let's say we divide it into eight pieces. In other words, we half everything again. So now we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many of the pieces are now colored in? One, two, three, four of eight pieces is colored in. So four of eight pieces is colored in and this will be another equivalent fraction to these so let's just write them next to each other and maybe you can see the pattern I have 1 over 2 is exactly the same as 2 over 4 is exactly the same as 4 over 8 can you see the relationship okay how can I create an equivalent fraction can I create an equivalent fraction yes okay I can represent a half by 2 over 4 anywhere where you write a half I can write 2 over 4 and it means exactly the same thing so how do I get an equivalent fraction well it's very simple I just multiply the numerator with anything anything I want to as long as I multiply the denominator with the same thing so for example here I multiplied with a 2 And I got 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Let's try and get another equivalent fraction of a half by multiplying with 7. 7 times 1 is 7, and 2 times 7 is 14. If I were to divide a cake into 14 pieces, and I take 7 of those 14 pieces, I would have taken half of the cake. So 1 over 2 is equivalent or exactly the same as 7 over 14. Okay, now 
let's just look at the um, most simplified the most simplified fraction okay the most simplified fraction would in this case be 1 over 2 and all it means is that there is nothing that can divide into the numerator and into the denominator so let me just give you an example let's say I had 12 over 16 okay then what is the most simplified fraction I can multiply the numerator and the denominator with anything even I can also divide the numerator and the denominator with anything just like to, to get an equivalent fraction of 4 over 8 I can divide the numerator with 2 and divide the denominator with 2 to get another equivalent fraction so th and that would give me 2 over 4 so that would be going in the opposite direction so it so what can I divide with can I divide the numerator and the denominator with something well let's try I can divide the numerator and the denominator with 4 with 2 well let's first divide it with 2 then I get a 6 and 8. In other words, 12 over 16 is equivalent. Equivalent just means um, almost exactly the same as 6 over 8. 12 over 16 is equivalent to 6 over 8. Can I divide again? Yes, I can divide with 2 again. Then I get 3 over 4. Okay, and this most simplified fraction simply means what is the least number of divisions I should divide my whole with to represent this fraction with. So, for example, three quarters. Let's use a let's use a square. Okay, if a square is cut into four pieces, these my four pieces, and I take three of the four pieces it would be equivalent as cutting it into 16 pieces which means everything here gets halved and everything gets halved again okay how can I halve that again like that okay let me use a different color okay here's 16 pieces now okay they're all of the same size even though my sketch does not look like that Okay, so far we have eight pieces. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll halve them again. Halve all of those pieces. Now I've got 16. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sixteen pieces. Okay, so if I color in 12 of them, okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 there you can see 12 of 16 pieces is the same as 3 of 4 and therefore they are equivalent and the most simplified fraction is the one where I can't divide the numerator and the denominator with anything anymore in other words they don't have a common factor uh, anymore okay let's leave it at that in the next video we'll look at how can we now add fractions that are not does not have the same denominator and we're going to use this idea of equivalent fractions to create two fractions that does have the same denominator and uh, we'll look at that in the next video see you there